I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking. And a grey mist on the sea's face and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again. For the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. In 1798, George Bass and Matthew Flinders discovered a strait that separated Van Diemen's Land from the continent of Australia. Captain John Hunter, Governor of New South Wales, directed Flinders to sail beyond Furneaux Islands and should a strait be found, to pass through it and return by the south end of Van Diemen's Land. On December the 8th, 1798, they passed Cape Grimm on the northwestern corner of the island and found the ocean swells coming from the southwest. They knew then that they'd proved a strait existed between the two land masses. In 1907, the Ocean Racing Club of Victoria organised a yacht race from Melbourne to Devonport across Bass Strait. The city of Melbourne is situated at the top of Port Phillip Bay and in the grounds of St Paul's Cathedral is a memorial to that great navigator Matthew Flinders. At the very end of each year, yachtsmen from clubs scattered around the shores of Port Phillip prepare for the annual Bass Strait race. The race has started from Queenscliff at the entrance to Port Phillip Bay. Queenscliff is a traditional holiday resort at this time of year and hundreds of holiday makers throng the pier and foreshore to watch the start. are away with a good fresh sou'easter on the race to Devonport some 315 kilometers to the south. to Port Phillip, known as the Rip, provides confused seas which can give crews some anxious moments. Many a small vessel has foundered in this area of strong tides and sandbars.
For the next 30 hours or so, crews will have to make constant adjustments to sheet trimming and sail changes to get the maximum speed from their yachts as they drive southwards. The exposed waters of Bass Strait can provide some of the worst weather in the world. The usual weather pattern is westerly winds in this area, but this year almost the reverse occurs, with the southeaster continuing all the way across. With the strong tidal and current flows in Bass Strait, navigation is a very important part of the race. Any error made can cost a competing yacht hours of time if the landfall is not an accurate one. Generally, the yachts finish in darkness, and this makes it all the more essential for spot-on navigation. Devonport is spread along the banks of the Mersey River. One of the town's prominent landmarks is the lighthouse on the bluff, and it's this light that all the yachts will be making for to complete the race. An aircraft from Devonport flies out into the strait to spot the leading yachts. They're all still sailing into the southeaster, and with this headwind, the leading yacht has not much chance of establishing a race record. Towards evening, the wind lightens, and the last few kilometers become frustrating as the wind veers to the south. the first yachts over the line, the tension eases as Devonport welcomes the crews into the safety of the Mersey River. Next morning, most of the yachts are tied up near the Mersey Yacht Club and crews have a chance to relax and discuss the outcome of the race as sails and wet clothing are hung out to dry. At night, trophies are presented to the winning skippers. It is my very great pleasure to present uh, to you this award for a splendid performance. And with this award goes a very sincere congratulations uh, of the uh, Mersey Yacht Club and I'm sure that uh, all your colleagues uh, will join me in extending our best wishes to you for success and happiness and pleasure in your yachting future. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator, Commodore, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the crew of Monsoon for these presentations and also for the uh, hospitality extended by the Mercy Club. It's certainly been... So another Queenscliff to Devonport yacht itself. race comes to a close. This, the oldest ocean race in Australia, across a strait that was discovered only some 175 years ago, gives yachtsmen the opportunity to test their skill and courage against themselves and the waters of Bass Strait.